I've been fortunate enough to have reviewed two Spinnaker watches in the past. If you haven't seen those reviews, I will link them in the description. The attention to detail with Spinnaker is always on point, from the packaging to the actual product. To be honest, I already know the watch is going to be good. In the past, the Dumas uh, used to come with a mesh style bracelet. In my opinion, mesh bracelets look awesome and really give off those vintage vibes. But for whatever reason, I always felt the bracelet was not designed for the watch. But this new bracelet really blends in nicely. The watch has the same dimensions as the current version, uh, but smaller wristed brothers and sisters beware as this watch does wear a little big. For reference, I have a 6 and 7 8 inch wrist. Now the entire case is constructed of 316 L stainless steel and the dimensions are as follows. The case is 44 millimeters from lug to lug. We find that it measures in at 48 millimeters. Thickness is 15 millimeters, has a lug width of 22 millimeters and a water resistance of 300 meters. The octagon case has a mixture of polished surfaces and brushed surfaces that play very well with the light. I do like the angular and sharp edges of the case as obviously they give us those 70s vibes and of course the Genta inspired design to them. They also provide us with crown guards that protect the signed 7mm screw down crown. The crown action is actually very smooth and gripping the crown is a breeze. The 120 click unidirectional bezel is very nice. This is a gray mineral crystal bezel insert with loom markings and gloss finish. The gripping edge is polished stainless steel with embossed rectangles. A design that reflects lines of light on the top surface of the case. We find a triangle at the 12 o'clock, a major tick every 5 minutes and a minor tick every 1 minute between 0 and 15 minutes. The feel of the bezel is great and a little better than the flus if I'm being honest. Protecting the dial, we do find an anti-reflective sapphire crystal. And of course, the dial is super cool as it has lots of layers to it. And the more you stare at it, the more you get lost in the details. I love how the indices have been applied to a ring rather than directly to the dial. This, of course, adds to the complexity and depth of the dial. We find that they included some printed Arabic 24-hour numbers around the dial and a date window at the 3 o'clock. The word spinnaker at the 12 o'clock in the words automatic in the water resistance at the six o'clock. I think the colors used here work very well together. The maroon with that baby blue make this watch look very playful. The hands are big and legible. The minute hand seems double the size of the hour hand. I really don't mind that design as it looks very unique and it plays well with the big bold indices and of course the lollipop seconds hand. Overall, I really like the layout this watch has plenty of Swiss Superluminova that's been applied to the dial hour markers, hands, the bezel markers, and the logo on the crown. This one is very impressive with its bright and crisp appearance and blue-green hue. I also noticed that they changed the logo on the crown and I really like that. Now when flipping the watch over, we do find a display case back. That's an interesting move and a good one to show us that a watch with a display case back can achieve 300 meters of water resistance. Taken away like many other Spinnaker watches, we find the tried and tested Seiko NH35 movement. The movement, of course, is extremely reliable. You can hand wind it, you can hack it. I always like the Spinnaker uh, decorate the rotor to show that they pay attention to details. However, it would have been nice for Spinnaker to offer this model with a 9000 series Miyota movement, as in my opinion, that would elevate the watch to a different level, and at $400, the competition would be very slim. Nonetheless, the NH is a great movement, so no complaints there. Now, another big change for this particular model, of course, is the bracelet. This new 22mm bracelet is beautiful and has been very well executed, as it mimics the case very well and the light plays with the angular edges very nice. We find solid links throughout, screws to size the bracelet, a mill clasp that's been signed with the Spinnaker logo, and on the wrist, it really does feel comfortable. This is a huge step up from the mesh bracelet. This, in my opinion, makes the watch look more expensive, and it almost makes it look like an integrated bracelet, so kudos to Spinnaker for offering this new bracelet. Here are my final thoughts. I've never actually had the opportunity to handle a Dumas model before, but I'm glad that this was the first one I got to handle. I personally really like the watch. Although it's a little big and a little bold, I have faith that Spinnaker will continue to release smaller versions of their current models, and who knows, maybe they'll slim this model down as well. Overall, this watch is very impressive for the price, so if you're in the market for a 70s-inspired dive watch, this one should definitely be on your radar. 
Furthermore, this is a tool watch, so you don't have to worry about babying it too much. I mean, part of the charm of wearing a watch is creating your own memories with scratches and dings. Just like our scars tell story, so do our watches. These new versions were released today, so if you want to pick one up, I would encourage you to use my affiliate link that's in the description as it really would help the channel out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, stay humble my friends.